The primary goal of the group is allegedly to fight corruption and maladministration in the government. The ANC has dismissed the group as wanting to destabilize the province because of their hatred for the Premier. Now, our reporter, Tsulufelo Matibedi, is in Maikeng and uh, now joining us. Uh, Tsulufelo, good to chat to you. What exactly is this uh, Northwest Revolutionary Council all about? Yeah, th this is a group of people who say that they are looking to ensure that, uh, you know, they deal with issues of corruption in, in the Northwest province. They've leveled a lot of accusations against the Premier. So what they wanted to do, they wanted to converge at the Rat City Hall uh, here in Mafikeng to speak about issues that are said to be related to the, all those accusations that they have leveled against uh, the Premier. But uh, unfortunately, what, what we found when we uh, arrived at the hall is that the meeting couldn't go ahead. When we spoke to them, because they had invited us to be part of this meeting, saying that they do have documented proof, they do have uh, things that they know and they have uh, actually made research on around the accusations. They're not just saying that these are not just empty accusations. This is things that they have, you know, been working on, things that they actually have proof on. But they say that, uh, you know, the meeting couldn't go ahead because when they went to the hall, there was a group of people that was waiting for them inside the hall. And that group of people then, uh, you know, pushed them out and then didn't give them a chance to go ahead with the meeting as planned. Blend. And Obriel, uh, with me, uh, I have uh, one of the organizers of that meeting that was supposed to be held at the Rat City Hall, Mr. Temba Gwabeni. Mr. Gwabeni, uh, can you indicate to us that what was, what was this whole uh, meeting all about? Well, this meeting is a meeting of civil society, concerned citizen around uh, the region here. We had agreed that today we will then meet, have a discussion. There's all sorts of information. There are two, three things that were going to happen in that meeting. There's going to be a register, a register of people who are raising those complaints. There's going to be inputs made on the corruption register that we have, that is at our disposal. And that's how the meeting was planned today and we were supposed to address the meeting. But we picked information yesterday that uh, the Speaker of the local municipality was instructed by powers that be to organize two kumbis per ward and organize people who will occupy the hall before the actual people who were supposed to come to the meeting come to the meeting. And indeed they did that. They came in, young people who were in a drunken state, uh, beat up the people at the hall, broke the chairs, broke and dismantled the sound system that was there, damaged a car of one of uh, the organizers of this meeting, Mr. Chenepe, who had to run for dear life and had to run to the nearest clinic and nurses there, we want to thank them very much for having saved Chanepe's life because he would have been dead had these hooligans laid their hands on him. Now, one person, unfortunately, and we wish him speedy recovery, was shot. I don't know what is the situation. We don't even know who shot him. It's still a matter for the investigation by the police. And, Rekoven, when, when we spoke to... Uh, that speaker of of uh, Mulema district, he indicated to us that they interrupted you because they saying that you purported to be holding a meeting of the ANC. That they say that they feel that you particularly they singled you out, saying that you are not a member of the ANC and you cannot call a meeting of the party. Did you call this meeting under the guise that it, it's it's an ANC meeting? No. Then us are very clear. In any case, who in this country is having is not having a right to assemble? Where? It's clear, and I'm happy that you interviewed him. 
who in this country cannot call a meeting, be it a church, be it a stock fair, or any kind of meeting. So it's clear that they don't have answers because they were bust in, they are bought, but they will have to explain themselves because there is a rule of law in this country. We are going to continue with this campaign. We are going to have the meetings. We are going to continue to go to the police stations, open charges. We are going to accelerate. But then you're talking about acceleration. The, the meeting that was supposed to be held today couldn't be held. What's going to happen from maybe, let's say, from tomorrow? Fortunately, we have been getting information online and we are putting the information together. Tonight we are meeting to evaluate the situation. And by the way, these people are known. They are death threats. They are threats to burn down the houses. But fortunately, the justice system in this country, in this country is equal to the task. All that I can advise is that people who have children out there warn their children. This is a democratic country. They must not allow anybody to use them in the manner in which they were used. We have called on our people that they must restrain. No guns in these meetings, no fighting back in this meeting. It must be just peaceful meetings. We will be meeting with civil society, meeting with uh, public servants, anybody who has information. We are going to go and continue to do that. Let's see. The good thing is that the police know who to follow up. If somebody's house is burned, we know who the culprits are. If somebody is killed, we know who the culprits are. So the justice system, it's ready, it's well oiled. We are going to continue because we are not going to be disrupted in this progress. People have the right to dissent. People have the right to criticize even their own government. So this thing, it's clear it's a dictatorship that rare its head and it needs to be nipped and cut right where it hurts most. So do you uh, say that you, the, your resolve is still there and you will be continuing? No, we are, definitely, definitely. You can't stop the masses of the people. We are not going to relocate. There's no way we are, we are going to run. We are going to do that and we encourage people. The register is up and running. The website will be there. We will continue to do this thing. And we are not faceless people, like they were saying. We are there. We have names, cell phones, addresses. That's what we have. This is a democratic country. We are going to continue to do that. Public uh, representatives who resort to hooliganism, the law must take its full course. We will obviously be lodging a complaint because as this car was damaged, we are told that some of the police were just watching and did nothing. So we pay them. They must do their work. It is our job as civil society. This is our country. Hard-won democracy. We will continue. We will continue to roll this register up to the fullest end until the law took its, its course. You know that in this province there are many people who were assassinated in the, in the past. This is not a new thing. It's not new. We anticipated that. We knew. People have been fed now. They are celebrating. And this is somebody's child, somebody's daughter, sister, we are calling upon. Please reframe. This is a democratic country. Obriel, uh, that's uh, Mr. Kwabeni, Temba Kwabeni, who is one of the organizers of uh, the campaign that was supposed to have converged at the Ratsidi Hall uh, from 12 o'clock uh, today, but it was not to be because they were interrupted, uh, chairs were broken, cars were broken, somebody has been shot, and uh, we will be keeping tabs on the situation as it develops. Back to you in the studio. Well, many thanks. Uh, that there is our reporter at Solo Fellow Mutibedi speaking to us uh, live from Maikeng in the Northwest Province. And of course, continuing to monitor that story. And as soon as uh, there are any new developments, we will bring them to you as and when they happen.